guys, what's up? It's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful day. Today we are doing the opposite twin create a sim. It's not really a challenge, but uh, basically it's very self-explanatory. You create two sims, they look exactly the same, they're twins, and they have opposite personalities. Hence why it's called the opposite twin uh, create a sim. This was like a really popular trend a while ago. Like always, I'm late, but I really wanted to showcase some CC for you all, and I thought this was a good way to do it. So basically, uh, we have Nova, who is more of a punk rock, never wants to settle down, wants to be in a band and travel over the world kind of sim, and then her sister Nora, who is more of a hippie uh, gardener, wants to have a big family, settle down really soon, um, and they're both gingers. <laughs> and uh, I love gingers. Uh, I think I think it's because I grew up reading Harry Potter and Ron Weasley was everything to me. The whole Weasley clan was, was so important to me. So I kind of uh, went through a phase where I was like dyeing my hair bright orange all the time. It looked insane and dumb, but yeah. Uh, so everything that you see will be listed down below because there's a lot of custom content. As always, I use the Folly Adieu Skin Blend because it kind of uh, changes your life when it comes to The Sims. I can never create a sim and not use the Skin Blend because this, it just, it you know, it smooths out all of the weird EA shadows. I just love it. And then of course the Kajoko 3D eyelashes, I believe is what they're called. Um, you know, they just, I don't know why the Sims didn't have eyelashes uh, to begin with, but I do have like a bone to pick <laughs> with EA for that. Uh, but yeah, so everything will be listed down below. So Nova, like I said, uh, is self-assured, um, music lover and non-committal. And then she has, I think the musical master aspiration. I don't really remember what it's called, but uh, I'm thinking like for her, I think that she is someone who really likes the guitar and like like singing and wants to have her own band and just tour all over the sim worlds and meet a bunch of people and you know kind of be crazy and never settle down. I mean probably later on in life she will but she's a fresh young adult you know she doesn't need to be settling down anytime soon at least I think that's what she thinks. Um, so I do go with like oh I'm changing it right now because I had the Get Famous hair on her, but I wanted to use uh, that NASA cro or cropped jacket, right? Uh, is that what it's called? <laughs> I like can't speak every time I try to record, but it was cutting through the uh, the top, like the collar. Oh my god, I'm so bad at fashion. Uh, so I went with this really cute ponytail instead, and of course I gave her fishnets. I love fishnets. I can't pull them off in real life um, because I'm like, I'm very short and I just feel like it doesn't look right on my body, but that hasn't stopped me from trying uh, forever. Uh, so yeah, actually, wait, do I change the top? I do. I changed the top because I was trying, I felt like there was too much denim going on, so I changed this really cute sweater instead. Uh, so I guess I could have kept the other hair but this way you get some more cute custom content to look at and now we are moving on to Nora. Nora is more on my speed when creating sims. I create a lot of hippie sims and that's very much what Nora is. Uh, she you know wants to be a gardener, have a big family. I envisioned her settling down really quickly with a partner and either like adopting or just having kids and having like a bunch of dogs and like a big farmhouse. That's what I picture for her just like suburban, well not suburban, country bliss perhaps <laughs> i don't think i've ever said country bliss in my life but you know like i picture her with all of the laundry day stuff in her house you know what i'm talking about um so yeah and her the hair that i ended up giving her is this long one that has like a bread clip in the back which i thought was so perfect because you know she wants to tie her hair back when she's gardening but also i'm obsessed with like the length of this hair it is such a beautiful cc hair i'm i'm in love with it and i didn't give her a ton of makeup only blush and lipstick um, because I feel like, you know, when you're taking care of a bunch of kids and a garden and all that kind of stuff, I feel like maybe you don't have time. I mean, I don't put on makeup and I don't really have any of that to worry about, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, I love her. I'm obsessed. And she was a lot easier to create because, uh, all my Sims are kind of like this. Uh, because I love the collections in The Sims 4. I love, you know, the collecting all the crystals and finding all the plants and the fish and the insects and all that stuff, uh, which I realize not a lot of people are into doing like the collections 
in The Sims 4, which is which is really interesting, but I think that's kind of my speed in video games. Like with Stardew Valley, I'm like very much an achievement hunter kind of uh, player. Like I want to collect everything and have everything, um, and I guess that translates to The Sims 4 too. So yeah, that's been most of my gameplay, like personal off-camera gameplay. Uh, but I'm giving her this really pretty CC skirt that I also am in love with. Basically everything I'm showing you I'm in love with, but... Yeah, so that's kind of the gist of it all. Everything will be list down, listed down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys!